Good morning, Northern High School. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, National Cheese Doodle Day. Today will be mostly sunny with a high near 48. I'm in a box. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. For all. Today's words of wisdom. National Cheese Doodle Day marks an annual celebration where fingers turn a cheesy orange as we snack on these flavor flavorful treats. Found all across the country, these cheddar cheese coated s snacks come in puffed or crunchy, fried or baked. They also come in single serving or jumbo sized packaging. The actual inventor of cheese doodles is under debate. Generally, the credit goes to a man named Mori Yohai, who made a variety of extruded snack foods in the 1940s for his family's company called Old London Foods. Other sources show patents for similar products in the 1930s, and still other competing accounts in Wisconsin and New Orleans as well. However, they came to be. They are here. <laughs> Their crunchy orange deliciousness is enjoyed around the world. They come in a variety of shapes, sizes, flavors, and 15 million pounds are produced annually. Uh, now a couple of bad jokes. Which genre of music appeals to most cheeses? What? r and <laughs> <laughs> Which cheese surrounds a medieval castle? What? Mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't the cheese want to get sliced? Why? It had greater plans. <laughs> 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 what do you call a cheese with curly hair? What? Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> I think they mean me. <laughs> what hotel do mice stay in? What? The Stilton. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a flying cheese? What? Curds of prey! <laughs> <laughs> now in today's news, the class of 2022 is holding a Bedford Candies fundraiser. See a student in the class of 2022 to order some delicious candies that will be delivered Wednesday, April 1st, just in time for Easter. All orders must be turned into the Counseling Center by March 13th. Checks can be made payable to NHS. Proceeds from this fundraiser go towards prom, senior trip, senior picnic, and graduation. Hey, seniors that are going on the senior trip, remember that your deposit for the trip of $35 is due this Friday, March 6th, to Mrs. Meekins. If you have any concerns, please let Mrs. Meekins know before Friday. If you do not have a deposit, there will be no ticket purchased for you. Thank you. Attention all juniors, hoagie order forms and money are due this Friday, March 6th. Please turn in to Miss Glass in room 224 before enrichment. Attention all students ages 16 and up. The NHS Student Council will be hosting a blood drive in the Ox Gym on Friday, March 27th. The doors will be open at 8.15 a.m. and wrap up by 1.45 p.m. For those students who are 16 years old, please pick up a parent waiver in the vault for parent approval. For more information, please see Miss Meekins or Miss Roller. Are you undecided on what career you want to pursue after college? Have you, you considered going to business, human, or public relations, marketing, media arts, or any kind of management position? Have you thought about getting into a TV, movie, or radio production? Come into a presentation in room 201 on Tuesday, March 10th during intervention to find out about communications major at Frostburg State University. Please sign up on the sheet outside Mrs. Verts if you are interested. Today's lunch is mozzarella sticks with sauce, carrot sticks, pears, brownie, and milk. Tomorrow's lunch is sloppy juice. Yay. Stop! And make a difference. Continuing through March 26th, the NHS JROTC cadets will be collecting items for its NHS JROTC care package drive for deployed troops located worldwide. Every teacher has its list of what is acceptable, so please look at the list and bring in those items. The NHS JROTC cadets will collect these items from the classrooms every Thursday during intervention. What do you know, Joe? Do you partake in the cheese doodle? You partake in a cheese doodle? Yes. Do you partake in the cheese doodle? I don't even know what that is. Cheese doodle? Yes, but only the 99 cent bags of Snyder of Berlin ones. Those no. Do you like cheese doodles? Yeah. Do you like cheese doodles? What are cheese doodles? Yes. Caitlin, do you no, like cheese doodles? Caitlin. I don't like cheese doodles. Sam, do you like cheese doodles? Uh, sure. Do you like cheese doodles? What is that? Do you partake in the cheese doodle? What? Also known as the cheese puff? Like, eat cheese puffs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't like the cheesy residue on my fingers. In Husky events, I'm getting shipped! Big box. <laughs> Today's quote is, Ah, savory cheese puffs, made and edible by time and fate. By Anonymous. And happy birthday to Chaz Bono and Patricia Heaton. Have a therapeutic Thursday. Yay! <laughs>